This video covers some basic tips for using and installing a rear-facing infant car seat with the seat belt. Before you begin, read your instruction manual for your car seat and the portion of your vehicle owner's manual on child restraint systems. Pay close attention to the information on your vehicle's seat belt system and how to lock it. Because every car seat and vehicle is different, it's important to follow all instructions carefully. Place the car seat base in the back seat of your vehicle. Carefully thread the seat belt through the correct belt path. Be careful not to have any twists. Buckle the seat belt. Lock the seat belt, press down firmly on the base, and tighten. The base should not move side to side or front to back more than one inch. Make sure your car seat is installed at the correct recline angle. Most car seats have built-in angle indicators or adjusters to assist you. Properly position the harness on your child. Harness straps should lie flat, not twisted, and be placed through the slot at or below your child's shoulders. Buckle the harness and the chest clip and tighten. The harness is snug enough when you cannot pinch any extra material at the shoulder. Place the chest clip at armpit level. Your child is now secure and ready to go. Use your rear-facing infant seat for as long as possible. Once your child outgrows the infant car seat, you should switch to a convertible car seat and use it in the rear-facing position. Rear-facing convertible seats have higher height and weight limits and allow you to keep your child rear-facing longer.